let's talk last call Dodge, specifically the last last call car they're gonna show on March 20th in Las Vegas. I'm excited about this car because the rumblings and suggestions of what it's gonna be capable of and the kind of performance it's gonna have sound pretty cool, but nobody knows exactly what it is yet. We're starting to see the teaser videos. Those are getting people excited, myself included, and I'm gonna be at that event in Las Vegas. But before that event, I'm gonna be in Detroit and I'm gonna see the car in person at the Stellantis Design Dome, part of the uh, pre-release information that the journalists get to see. So I'm jazzed and I'm excited, but I'm also not gonna be able to speculate much longer about what the car has because I'm gonna see it and then I can't speculate once I've seen it. So before that happens, I wanna speculate now because I've got a bunch of ideas and um, I wanna throw them out there and see how right or wrong I was before it's too late. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about the name. There's enough, I think, indicators between the first two videos that Red Eye is gonna be part of the name. And if you're making a Red Eye version of a Mopar, you don't make an all new name. People have been speculating it could be Ghoul or Goblin or Phantom or Archangel, but none of those cars exist yet. So there's no reason to attach the name Red Eye to them because you only use Red Eye to elevate an existing model. So I think it's gonna be the Dodge Demon Red Eye. I think it would make sense because I think it's gonna have a lot of the same philosophy that was went into the Demon, but that it will be more powerful and it'll be the red eye version of the Demon. So that's my speculation on the name. Now let's get into the engine specs, which again, lots of speculation about E85 flex fuel because we're seeing that already in the crate motors that Direct Connection will sell you. You know, they talked about how they were never gonna go higher horsepower than the Dodge Demon, but maybe they have a way to kind of sidestep that, which would be if they make this car and its basic horsepower rating is like 808, or maybe it's even 839 uh, before you put E85 in. And then they don't ever give a horsepower number. You know, I, would, I could see Dodge doing that where they're like, well, we're, we, it runs, it, it pulls 839 horsepower on pump gas and you can put E85 flex fuel in it and we don't know what it makes after that. And of course they do, but they don't commit to it. And so they've never broken the agreement about not making more horsepower than the Dodge Demon made at 840 with its high octane gas. So I think that could be one thing they do. But again, it depends a lot on this idea that it would have E85. We saw the teaser video, which to me just clinched it. You've got this little leprechaun creature and then he takes an IV and it totally turns him into a monster. And it's this yellow golden colored fluid that he's putting, putting in. So I think that's the 85 going in, turning him into the more powerful, scary monster. And I'm excited because I think that's gonna make the car really fun and have a cool dual personality. So I think that's the drivetrain you're talking about. And hopefully it's even a 426 cubic inch engine because the only thing cooler than having an E85 flex fuel engine that's really powerful, makes a thousand plus horsepower with the 85 is that if it's an actual 426 cubic inch displacement engine. And they've got one of those, we know that. So could they get that to pass emissions and put it into a full production car, even a limited production car like this one? Hopefully that would be awesome. And don't forget, we've heard rumblings, you know, we didn't hear rumblings. Tim Kaniskas just told us that, that they were breaking motors when they were putting them through the durability testing that you have to put a production car engine through, which is scary on one hand, but is pretty cool on the other hand. It's making a lot of power if they had to beef up the engine further because they were breaking them. So exciting engine capabilities. Now I wanna get into the specific teaser that came out that's referencing this guy behind me because I think there were some cool elements in there, right? Um, people were talking about like the, the green that he's wearing and the plaid and they're thinking it's referencing the uh, Tesla plaid. But I'm wondering if there's another element that we've seen from another very cool Stellantis Dodge related vehicle. And this one would be the one that's owned by Ralph Shields. And if you've been following Ralph Shields, besides the fact that he's a car guy, a diehard car guy, the head designer for uh, Stellantis for years, you also know that he's created his own personal car in the form of a carbon fiber bodied vintage Dodge Charger. And it's so cool and it's uh, really neat that he got um, weight taken off that car by going with a carbon fiber body and it looks fabulous. Is there any chance Possibly, am I just dreaming here? Is there any chance that there's a carbon fiber body on this last call Dodge and that makes it uh, that much more powerful and capable because it's got a thousand plus horsepower engine and it drops hundreds of pounds in the lightweight body treatment? Probably overly hopeful, but just 
knowing that Ralph had that car and then seeing the, the, uh, the pattern on the leprechaun's uh, clothes, I was like, hmm, possible? Probably not, but I'm, I don't know anything. This is all speculation. This whole video, by the way, is speculation. The last thing I wanna talk about is related to what I see in the video, the teaser video, and it's happening with this leprechaun's eyes. Now, before I'd seen this teaser, I'd mentioned to my friend how I would love this car to have some kind of crazy exterior treatment. To me, if this is the, you know, going out with a bang LX platform final vehicle and it's gonna have crazy horsepower, I would love to have a crazy uh, look for it. I would love it to be a real visual, like, you know, knockout as it goes down the road. And you can do part of that with color, like Plum Crazy or Sublime, but I'd like the body to actually have some kind of very distinctive crazy treatment. And I was telling my friend just last week, I'd love to see, like, think 911 slant nose treatment, where they change the whole front end of the vehicle, ostensibly for performance versions to make it more aerodynamic, but really it just looked a much cooler, right? The, uh, the slant nose 930s from the 1980s. Is there any chance that, that Dodge would do that for this car? And I had been saying this last week. Then I see this teaser video and this emphasis on Mr. Leprechaun's eyes. That combined with, if you look at the invitation for this March 20th event that they've sent out, it's got a vintage racer looking uh, guy, uh, just his head, you can't see anything but, but his helmet and his breathing apparatus. And then he's got goggles with plastic covers and back behind them are his actual eyes. And the only color in the whole image are the yellow eyes in this, uh, in this uh, illustration. And now we see yellow eyes on this leprechaun in this uh, teaser video. Is there any chance that, that these eyes are uh, representing headlights that are somehow shining through something else? They're shining through a front end that comes to some kind of a point. Probably not, I'm being ho overly hopeful here, but I would love to think that maybe for this limited production last version of the Challenger, they do something crazy to make it more aerodynamic and to look really cool with a front end, you know, sort of a Dodge Daytona, Charger Daytona 69, throwback with uh, the pointed front end. Who knows? Probably not. I'm just hopeful. Um, but that's, that's kind of the summation of, of what I think the car is going to have. The Dodge Demon Red Eye name is my guess for the name. The 1,000 plus horsepower E85 engine and the possible carbon fiber treatment to the body, maybe, and the possible hope for uh, front end treatment that uh, relates to the uh, this, this focus on, on a glowing eyes, which is, to me, that's what a car's headlights are. They're its eyes, and the fact that there's this emphasis at the end of this teaser video with this guy's glowing eyes, maybe. Probably not, but I'm hopeful. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is allocation, because there's a lot of speculation about that, and everyone on like the Demon Forum and a lot of other places are like, well, what difference does it make? The car is going to be you know, way overpriced by dealers, and nobody but rich people will be able to buy it. Certainly that's what happens to a lot of these cars, too many of these cars, it is annoying. But you can get around that and car companies have done that. We saw recently with the new Ford GT, Ford just basically bypassed the dealers and let the owners deal directly with Ford and got the cars directly to them. And the dealers got to process paperwork and got plenty of money for just basically processing paperwork. Uh, but there was no chance that a dealer could do anything with the price because it was agreed upon between the company and the buyer. I would love to see Dodge do the same thing. So let's say they do that. Well, then it's like, okay, well, how do I get one? How do I get one? Well, I think the allocation process, and it's been rum rumored already, should be based on something like people who've already owned a Dodge Demon and who still own their Dodge Demon. That's the, that's the killer one, because there was plenty of people who bought Dodge Demon. A lot of them got it purely for the purposes of flipping, and then as soon as they could make money off of it, they sold it and they're gone. But there's a few people, I would be one of them, who has had their Dodge Demon for over five years now and has no intention of selling it. And I would love to see those people, myself included, uh, rewarded for that kind of uh, loyalty. Almost as much as I would love to see the annoyance from all the flippers who had one at one point, let it go, and screwed up their chance to get a new one. Kind of like the idea of that, to be honest. So now, there were 3,000 of the Demons made and there's rumblings that it's only gonna be 300 of this made. There's only been 300 of some of the other last call cars like the Black Ghost. So how many of these are they gonna make and how many can they possibly get to existing demon owners? Well, there's probably more than 300 demon owners who still own the demon from buying it new. So what could be another filter they could put on? Well, how about if you take it to the racetrack? Okay, 
I don't know how many demon owners still own their demon from original and have had it to the racetrack at least once and could validate that or verify that somehow that they've taken it to the track because that was the point of the car. But maybe there's still more than 300 demon owners who've done that. So what if you're a demon owner who was original, you still have it, you've taken it to the track and you've pulled at least one nine second pass in the car. You've probably got less than 300 Dodge Demon owners who've done that. So that would get you to your 300 allocation. Um, and I would still make it, by the way, because I have done a, a nine second uh, pass in my car. I might, maybe I'll run that at the end of this video because it's only about a 10 second video. Uh, but um, that would be a way to filter it down as you uh, have to validate all those three points to get allocated for one of the new uh, last call Dodges. Those are my thoughts. I'm really excited to have them uh, validated and known in the next 48 hours, 30 hours really. Uh, but I also can't speculate after I've seen it. So I'm speculating while I still can. Everything I've told you is what I am totally guessing on. You'll, you'll, you'll probably know that when you see the car because I'll be wrong. But I wanted to get this out there before uh, I knew about the car and before the car's released. And um, we'll see how much uh, I'm right and uh, how much I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs>